All right, skip the chips, forget fast food. It is time to start snacking smart. Registered dietitian Lisa Grezelanik with YourTastyLife.com is here with easy 10 easy tasty and go snacks. This is such a great idea yeah. because it is true. It's like, and then if you're, if you don't plan ahead and think through this stuff, then you just grab something. Grab a bag of chips. Yeah. Grab a bag of chips or you go hungry or, you know, it's just like a big mess, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about 10 ideas that are super easy you can do in a flash and could be part of your weekly routine as Nicole was talking about. Okay. So the first thing I like to do is think about doing some snack boxes. So what we have down here is a way to pack a nutritious punch is to put all your snacks in one box, so to speak. Oh. So we have a little slice of deli meat, there's some raw veggies, a little bit of fruit, maybe some olives. Over here in this one, we have Nicole's favorite cheese. We put that in there, and some hard-boiled egg. But in other words, it's a real quick, convenient thing. If you did that before the work week, you know, you're grabbing that and you're out the door. Well, that's true. Another thing that's really neat is when you're traveling to do a hummus dipper. That's a good idea. Okay. Oh, right on the bottom. So you just put the hummus on the bottom of your container, Smart. do your vegetables. So if you're even traveling, I have a lot of clients that travel, like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. But you could eat, okay. actually eat on the road with this, too. You but it's so this. hard to pack. Well, even for my daughter, like lunch, a separate dip is a pain in the butt. So that's yeah. a good yeah, way to stick it in all in one. Yeah. You could also do that with peanut butter and celery sticks. Oh. Ooh. So another one there. So Ooh. now if we have a sweet tooth, what are we going to do for yeah. that sweet tooth snack? So one of the things I have fallen in love with are these silicone baking um, trays, I guess you call yeah, them, baking like cups. Nothing sticks to them. So one thing we could do is we can take some yogurt. So what I took here was um, unsweetened yogurt, or you could do a vanilla yogurt, and you put it about a third high in here, and then you stick some fruit on top, and then you have these little packageable yogurt pies, if you will. Like that. Mm -hmm. oh. So just some different easy you could do to get the yogurt. You could also do fruit. That way, just put um, the yogurt in the bottom of a pan, and you put your um, fruit in there, and there you go. So, you know, same thing. I like that. So, yogurt-covered fruit. Then what we can do is we can do yogurt another way. So, we're kind of getting sick of the same old yeah. yogurt. What right. do we do? So, this, ladies, I want you to try, if okay. you don't mind. So, what it is, is you take um, one of them is plain Greek yogurt, one is vanilla yogurt. And if they both have mm. a heaping teaspoon of peanut butter in mm -hmm. there. One has a sugar alternative. The vanilla sweetened one doesn't need any sugar. Mm -hmm. And then you put a little vanilla in there and a little uh, couple of chocolate chips. Mm. That's really good. So it's Here's cookie dough, cookie Goodbye. dough, um, yogurt, basically. Oh, good. Yep. And so all these recipes are on yourtastylife.com on the blog. Yeah. But the oh, unsweetened really one good. is probably going to taste a little less sweet, which would be this one. Yeah. So I added vanilla and a little sugar alternative. The regular old vanilla Greek yogurt, you don't need to add any sugar. Yeah, it's sweetened. Mm -hmm. You just put some peanut butter and chocolate mm. chips. Good to go. Huh. What are we going to do for um, another sweet tooth at night? One of my favorites is a baked apple. Super easy. One thing I'm going to tell you at home is don't make the mistake of coring all the way through your apple. You want to have a little bottom on it so that inside that apple, you're going to put a teaspoon of butter, Ooh. a teaspoon of a sugar of choice, oh. and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. You bake it in the oven for a half hour, top it with some really? whipped cream. Delicious. Oh. Right in there. That tastes like an apple pie without all the additives and sugar yeah. Yeah. and all the sugar. So super good. Frozen grapes, love these for the kiddos as well. Okay. It's like a popsicle. Yeah. Mini popsicle. Just pop in your mouth. Putting pop. on the lunch, it kind of helps keep the lunch colder yeah. too. Love those. What about savory? So you're feeling like something savory, something that's going to pack more of a punch. What about some cucumber boats? So all we did here so was take tuna. You can mix it with whatever you care for. In this case, I just took some lemon, squeeze lemon in there, mix it up with salt and pepper, put that's it in cute. it. Portable again. So I could wrap this in aluminum foil and take it to work. Yeah. Easy peasy. I, I was just telling you, we have so many cucumbers out of our garden. I don't know what to okay, do. Well, that's this. a good yeah. idea. Another thing you can do, Nicole, is do cucumber sandwiches. Look how cute that All right. is. So you take little that. slices of um, cheese and your meat of choice. You can just touch it. I don't care. Okay. okay. Um, okay. And then we have, you just take your cucumber and you make a little sandwich. That's a good so idea. So if you like ham or turkey, whatever kind of you know, cheese you yeah, care for. Yeah, you can mix your meats and mix your cheese. There you mm -hmm. go. So what do you do with extra cucumbers to make a cucumber sandwich? The last two things we have are different take on deviled eggs. Yeah, what is that? Is that guacamole. Ah! So mm. take some guacamole, pop out those That's egg yolks. Nice. And Dip it in there, you know, stuff it in there, and then you have guacamole stuffed eggs. The other thing is, you know, for in love of Cassandra and her absence, we have to talk about popcorn. So three cups of popcorn is a serving. Ooh, is this the yeast? So then we use nutritional yeast to add a nutty, cheesy flavor. And you go ahead and you pop this stuff on there. Get it open here. Really? And it gives you cheesy popcorn.
Let's all try this. It does taste like cheesy popcorn. For real. So nutritional yeast is not an activated yeast. It's a deactivated yeast that provides B vitamins oh, yeah. and a cheesy flavor. So we will use it a lot. Um, vegans will, or vegetarians might use it as a, as a cheese alternative. Where do you find this? Because I've been looking. You'll find it at Woodman's, more of your specialty health food stores. Like what aisle? Um, it'll be in the natural organic aisle. Oh, yeah, she wants like aisle seven. Yep. Like, I if you put it the wrong aisle, uh, yep. okay. if you put it the baking aisle. No, not in the baking aisle. It'll definitely be in your natural organic type aisle. Usually, okay. like at a Woodman's, that's where you'll find it anyway. Um, but yeah, you just top that on top of your popcorn. And notice what I did too for the snack, so we don't have a snupper. You know, a snack uh, that turns into a supper. Yeah. Is I put it on a portion. Right? Instead of out of the bag. Oh, that's true. I did my thing. I got in, and I walk away. Right. Yeah. So otherwise, what am I gonna do? Take the whole bag. Constant. I'm just gonna be noshing the whole bag, and there we go. Right. So snacks, not snuffers. You know, try to eat more real life food. Something that's gonna spoil eventually is what I'm looking for here. Not things full of preservatives and additives. I like that. Try to eat things that will rot. That if will, them, will if rot. If you keep them too long. Real food. All right, Absolutely. Lisa, always good information. We've got a link to her site if you want some more information from our site. Thanks for being here. No problem. And for lunch. We'll be back.